guys, my name is Divide. If this is your first time seeing me, hi, welcome to my channel. If not, welcome back, babes. <laughs> Okay, so today's video is a long, a very, very overdue makeup routine. You guys have been asking me to do my makeup routine for like ever, like since I started this channel. And I did do a makeup routine kind of, but instead of me doing the voiceover, I had one of my best friends, JB, do the voiceover. So y'all were like, this is good and all, but we're gonna need to know what the actual products are because JB did not know what he was talking about. I look so pale, hold on. Is that better? A little bit, not really. Regardless, today I was like, hey, I have to record a video and I have to do my makeup. So I might as well kick out two videos at the same time. So I'm gonna do my makeup routine for you guys and we're just gonna get ready together. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I don't have all of my makeup just because I haven't gone makeup shopping in so long. We're gonna work with what we got. I'm breaking out right now. We're just gonna pretend like they're not there. Just gonna pretend like that's not happening. Also, I'm having a terrible hair day. Like, I don't know what is on my head. It's just, it's a whole mess. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this video, but we're gonna do it anyways. Other than that, we're just gonna hop into the video and start getting ready. So like I said before, I don't have all my products that I would usually use. So I'm gonna show you guys the products that I would usually use and then also the product that I am using. The first thing that I do is moisturize. So I just wash my face. I use a Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen. Um, SPF 15 is for all skin types. I always make sure to use a moisturizer with an SPF in it because like even if it's like rainy or even if I'm just gonna be inside, whatever, I feel like you should always have SPF because the sun is out even if you can't see it. So it's always good to just have that protection. Also for y'all who don't know, I do have oily to combination skin. All of my products are gonna retain to that. After moisturizing, the first thing I do is do my brows. Usually I use the Anastasia Brow Wit in the shade Garnet or in the shade Dark Brown. The one I've been using recently is the Dark Brown one because I feel like once I dyed my hair red, which right now looks brown, I start just going for like the more brown brows. But like I said, I'm out of that right now, so I'm just using this Maybelline Brow Slimmer. Okay, so I just finished filling in my brows. Bro, my hair is literally getting on my nerves. It literally looks so bad. It's literally like defined curls over here and just like, don't know what this side's doing. Regardless, the next thing I do after I fill in my brows is I cut them out, okay? So, like I said, the product that I usually use, oh my eyeball, is Tandy Punny and the Tarte Shape Tape. This is what it looks like. Um, but since y'all can tell it's literally empty, I use my concealer that I use for my face, um, which is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade Deep Sand. And I mix it with an e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Medium Sand. I know you guys are thinking you guys are divine, this looks really light. I know, but listen, hear me out. I mix them together because I use that as a highlighter concealer to highlight the areas of my face because the concealer that I'm using right now is like the concealer that I use for my base, if that makes sense, which it probably doesn't. You guys probably like, I'm so confused. I don't wear foundation. I only wear concealer. So I got my concealer in like my normal shade, but just like a tiny bit lighter, but it's not light enough to highlight areas. I just use literally a random old highlighter cap thing and I just mix them to make my base concealer a little bit lighter. It turns out to be like around this shade, which y'all really cannot see. which I look crazy. I usually have a little bit of concealer left over and like I said, this is usually a lighter shade. So if I ever have any like red spots or anything like that, that I really need to get like, make sure it's like covered up. I go ahead and I use that access, access really? I use that excess 
and I put it over those areas. As y'all can see, my brows are cut out, but they're not blended out. So we gotta blend these brows out. I go ahead and use my beauty blender and we're just gonna blend it. <laughs> looking sharp they're looking crisp crisp so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put on my concealer I guess that same concealer that I showed you before the creaseless tar concealer in the shade deep sand and I'm just gonna put that um, in my t-zone basically on and on any other spots where I'm like <laughs> Okay, so after I blend out that base, here's how we're looking. Y'all probably like Dwayne, you look the same. I I'll fix the camera and y'all be able to see how I'm looking. But, so after I finish that base, the next thing that we're gonna do, bake. I use the Medium Deep Fit Me um, Finishing Powder. Usually I can, I also use Laura, Mer Laura Mercier Translucent. I also use a Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I ran out of that too, so usually what I do is I put on the Translucent Powder and then I finish off with this finishing powder. So I usually put on the Translucent Powder to bake, and if there's any spots that I feel like need a little more coverage, I usually put this on. But since I don't have my other one, we're going to use this to bake. Okay, so after I'm baking, I know I look crazy. We're gonna go ahead and set my brows. So I don't use a brow gel, I actually use a clear mascara. I use the Great Lashes Maybelline mascara, it's clear. But I've actually mixed it because I used to do this thing where I put on um, this clear, this blah, blah, blah. I used to do this thing where I put on my clear mascara, then my real mascara, and then I put on the clear mascara again. So it's not really that clear anymore. But regardless, it doesn't matter because that was brown and it matches my brows. It, anyway, long story short, I basically just put it on my brows and I use this clear mascara to set my brows because I feel like it works better in period. Like, why would I go buy like an, a real brow setter and spend money on that when this works better for me? And it's less expensive. Cause baby girl, we're balling on a budget. Okay. Period. So after that, my face is still setting um and baking and whatever, whatever you want to call it. Look, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. And this is what I use to put some color, put some definition, and some just shape back into my face. I usually use this last shade right here. And if I ever want to do another highlighting session, I use this shade up here. But right now, I don't think we're going to highlight today. I don't know. It depends on how our bake turns out. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do our nose contour. Like I said before, I use this shade down here. Y'all can tell I already hit Pam, but girl, we're still going. So I use an eyeshadow brush. This is from the Naked 2 palette. I just use this end of the brush, and we're going to go ahead and contour this nose. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and use this bluffing brush. This is from... I actually have no idea where this brush is from, I'm not going to lie to you guys. But like I said, it's just a normal um, buffing brush. Comes in like every set. Y'all know. Y'all you getting it? Okay, we're going to go ahead and contour. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Loud. Loud. 
There we go. Okay. So now that we're done with that, we're basically almost done. We really have three more things to do, which is blush, which is blush, highlighter, and mascara. So the blush is my favorite part. I use a MAC blush. It is in the shade. It's in the shade Plum. Okay. Do not judge. Okay. I've hit pan. As y'all can tell, I've definitely hit pan, but there's some around the corners and it's actually still very pigmented. So we don't need any new blush right now. Like I'm looking at it. It's definitely on my cheeks right now. But I go ahead, I put it on my cheeks and I go over my nose just to bring color back into my face, especially after that baking and especially since it is winter time. Next things next is we go ahead in with mascara, which this is probably the longest part of my makeup routine. It takes the longest after probably after my brows. No, definitely mascara takes longer than brows, but brows is close. These are my two favorite mascaras. You guys always ask what mascara I use. I don't know why my lashes aren't that long, but they wouldn't be as long as they are without these two mascaras. I literally love them so, so, so much, especially as a pair. I use Their Real by Benefit, um, and I also use Better Than Sex. This is by Too Faced, so these two mascaras are so good. Holy grails. Love them so, so, so very much. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on. This Better Than Sex is a volume mascara. Their Real is a lengthening mascara, so I go ahead and lengthen, and then I volumize. So we're going to do that. <laughs> shade opal i would show you guys a highlighter but i broke it like last year as you guys, as you guys might be able to tell i kind of broke it last year so oh my camera's about to die we're gonna switch out the battery one second okay back with a new battery like i said it broke but it's still good it still works so we're just gonna throw some highlight i throw it on my cheeks my nose and my inner corner and my brow bones so that's what we're gonna do now do is I use NK lip gloss which y'all ask me where I get this from all the time girl I just get it from the beauty supply store y'all can get it from there usually I apply chapstick one more time either the actual chapstick brand which I use cherry chapstick or aquaphora just to make sure my lips definitely stay hydrated and I feel like it sets a good base for my lip gloss then boom all done with lip gloss sometimes I put on lip liner but I wasn't really feeling it today so this is the finished look I'm gonna bring you guys to a different view so you guys have a better look at my makeup this is an up close look on how my brows look by the way because I was talking about how they were pushed up before and I really like how they turned out um this is I'm so close <laughs> hi guys but y'all like my contacts too ciao anyways so this is how it looks up close 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 7. I can't believe we finished our first week of Vlogmas and we're on to the second week already. Anyways, guys, I'm loving pushing out this content for you guys and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. I love you all so, so, so very much. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Stay safe, babes. Mwah. Thank you.